can this common infection cause dementia or can detecting this common infection and getting treated for it reduce the risk of dementia? Yeah, it's, it's possible. And I want to let you know about this as we come into the new year and maybe one of your resolutions is, I don't know, I want to plan to get as healthy as possible and make sure my future is bright where I can still play chess and talk to my grandchildren or my kids or I can, you know, you still want to have your brain intact, right? So I just thought this was really important. Before I get into that though, I wanted to talk about um, the respiratory illnesses that are on the uptick in the Midwest. We already saw them blow through while they're still here in Arizona, but Illinois is now upping their hospital mask mandate again because the amounts of whooping cough, also known as pertussis, RSV, the flu, pneumonias, uh, and whatnot are on the rise in Illinois. So that tells me it's all through the Midwest. And it was really hitting hard here, what, a few weeks ago I was talking about that. So it doesn't surprise me now that it's colder and everybody's inside in the Midwest. It's just spreading like wildfire. So if you're in that part of the country, uh, you know, do all the things that make you healthy, right? Talk to your practitioner about it. What I tell my patients is sunshine, proper nutrition, avoiding sugar, stay active, um, all the good things. And then, you know, I don't like the idea of isolating and all that, but, you know, do, do some common sense things like I love watching these new movies at home. Why go to a crowded movie theater where everybody is just coughing? You know, just 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 some common sense things, right? But just wanted you to be aware of that. So let's talk about this common infection. So it's called cytomegalovirus or CMV. Uh, it is most prominently found in the human gut lining and it is transmitted from humans to humans, saliva, blood, you know, any of our our human bodily fluids. It's transmitted um, through families, you know, close loved ones, things like this. It is in the family of the herpes virus, in case you wanted to know. But they have found, and I have to read this so I don't mess it up, this common herpes virus found in the gut, CMV, uh, and the immune response associated with the CD83 antibody in some individuals with Alzheimer's disease. So they're seeing a connection between the two. And so they did a big study. They took some tissue samples. Um, they looked in the brain, uh, the cerebrospinal fluid, um, where they found both um, the cytomegalovirus and certain antibodies. And so their, re their results concluded that the cross-tissue interaction between CMV and the immune response of the person that has it is associated with CD83 in the brain or the microglia in persons with Alzheimer's disease. So, and this is really cool because they did this research in Arizona at ASU. Um, so those, those of you that are like, ASU's not serious. Yeah, they um, did the ASU banner study. It was the Neurodegenerative Disease Research Study uh, done at ASU, Arizona State University. Whoop, whoop. So <laughs> I went to ASU, so I can say. Uh, so the results um, suggested that if they could give some antiviral therapy to some of these patients that had dementia, that had the biomarkers of CMV and these particular antibodies called CD83 and IG4, um, they are now doing a clinical study to show if they could pick the right antivirals to fight the CMV and reduce not only their risk of full-blown Alzheimer's disease, but just uh, even reduce the progression as, of Alzheimer's disease. Isn't that interesting? Uh, because I know none of us want Alzheimer's, um, you know, based on your genetics, your immune system. Um, you know, you can do some things maybe to lessen your risk. I love that. Now, we're lucky here in Arizona because as a patient, you can order lab tests here without a doctor's order. You can order um, a herpes virals panel that includes CMV antibodies without a doctor's order. And you can interpret it yourself. We're really lucky in Arizona. We have, we have really a welcoming state for entrepreneurs, for business, and for healthcare. I love that here. Yeah, the summers are brutal, but I really, we have a lot of freedom here. I really, I really love that. So 
And that was thanks to uh, former Governor Doug Ducey because he passed legislation that patients should be able to order their own lab work. You know, there's a lot of smart people out there and they can interpret that and then kind of move forward. Or, you know, what if they want to lose weight and they want to know what their insulin and their blood sugar level is and they want to kind of track it. You literally can walk into a Safeway, which is a grocery store here. They have Sonora Lab and you can order your own labs. The caveat is you have to pay cash for it. You can't use your insurance. If you're going to use insurance, here in Arizona anyway, you have to have a doctor's order if you want your insurance to pay for it. But then here's the kicker. We have some labs here, and, and I'll mention some. For example, Patient's Choice Lab. Um, if you want to check out their website, it's ptchoice.com. I love them because their prices are transparent. If you if you say, hey, you know, I want to have this lab work done, they'll tell you what the cash price is going to be. And it is so remarkably cheap. It'll blow your mind. So when I say healthcare is broken, you know, you could walk into a hospital and they might charge you $300 and up just for a metabolic panel, which checks liver health, kidney health, your blood sugar, your electrolytes. Like it's really like a full systems check. Through Patient's Choice Labs, the last time I checked, $25 cash pay, right? Wouldn't that solve? Well, it does solve because a lot of um, you know, I see a lot of entrepreneurs in my practice and, you know, they have to cover their own health care. They can't afford health insurance. And so I'm like, hey, I got you. We're going to just order um, these labs through Patient's Choice. They got you. And if you want to follow up on it, you can order your own labs. You don't need me necessarily. But if you have something really going on with your labs you don't understand or something you're concerned about, hey, then you come see me and we'll work on it together. Isn't that amazing? I feel like all states should have that. So, um, I can't remember if California has that, and um, I actually know why that got pu pushed through that legislation, but I'm not even going to go into that topic right now, Theranos, <laughs> but I'm not going to go there right now. You can watch the Theranos documentary, but the positive part of it is now you can order your own lab work in Arizona. So uh, what else did they talk about here in the study? Um, what's wild is, you know how... Well, you may not know. You have a vagus, a nerve called the vagus nerve. And, you know, people that have, um, you know, panic attacks or lightheadedness or POTS or anxiety, you know, they have like a lot of vagal nerve issues. Well, um, they are um, speculating that this CMV virus can travel um, via the vagus nerve from the colon, deep down at the colon travel up the vagus nerve and into the brain. And then you get the whole triggering of Alzheimer's disease. So what's the moral of the story? You can, you know, talk to your doctor about this if you're worried about a family member with dementia or yourself. And, you know, what are the symptoms of, oh, because they can test for CMV or the antibodies. And then there's antiviral treatment for that. But if... Um, if you're worried about like, well, what are the symptoms of CMV? Well, a lot of people have had been infected with it and don't even know it. They have a strong immune system. They might have just gotten like, you know, maybe mild cold symptoms like, you know. But when people have it extreme, it feels more like mono, um, like the glandular fevers and the sore throat and the and the tender lymph nodes uh, and things like that. And so, you know, they'll, they'll um, feel quite sick. And, um, and if they're already dealing with other chronic disease and illnesses, um, of course, like any virus, it's, it's going to hit a little bit harder. So I just thought that was really interesting. And I thought that was something interesting to share. I love talking about interesting things. If, you're, if you've been watching my channel, you know that. And I thought this is too important to not share with everyone. Um, and as I learn more things about that, you know, I'll certainly share it. But I thought that was an easy one, right? Also, if you don't live in Arizona and you're like, well, I can't get into a doctor, I can't afford it, my health, whatever. You know, if you ever vacation in Arizona, you can have a to-do list and order your own labs and just go get them done. And then they'll send you the results and you can go from there. Because I do believe in um, the partnership of healthcare with patients, the pharmacists, the labs, nurses, doctors, hospitals, you know, it, it should be a little bit more transparent and open. And plus, I think it's great for preventative medicine to do that. Okay, I hope that was interesting for you too and informative and maybe could help you a little bit. Um, comment below if you already knew this or if you didn't know this and if this is helpful or, um, you know, if you have anything to say that might help someone else that maybe you've been through something similar like this. Okay, all right. I will see you on the next one.